<laughs> well, John Hammond is our guest in studio, and John, you're you're just a man of many parts. You know, you play the accordion, you play the B three, you're a, a host on television as well as radio. And what what else did, did I forget? Anything? Record producer. World traveler. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you know, you have to wear a few different hats in this business, Chris. I don't have to tell you. Uh, oh, I know you it. You know, um, <laughs> we're all uh, involved in production, and uh, since I've been very fortunate to travel around the globe for quite some time now, I find myself in the position of being uh, an entrepreneur for and uh, impresario for some of the great talents that I've been very fortunate to meet and you know, very often play with in different countries. And uh, with the power of TV and radio, I've been able to give some very talented young talents their first exposure in New York. And I never forget the guy who opened the door for me, who was actually Jasbo, you know. And, yeah. You know, I, I think that uh, when you think back in musical history, like Ed Sullivan, he he broke a lot of talents on his show, and you know it's it's always a great honor and privilege to be involved with uh, uh, a great breaking talent. You know, so you know even though I'm a musician myself, I, I've been uh, really caught up in, in some incredible talent that I just you know Bernard Purdy told me something one time a long time ago, and it really stuck in my mind. He said, Hammond. You can't stop a hit. You cannot. Right. That is so true. <laughs> and uh, you, we should mention that uh, you should not uh, c- confuse John Hammond with, with John Hammond, the famous uh, record producer of New York City, or in- infamous. In, in or, or the singer. Or the singer. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then there's another uh, organist as well, Johnny Hammond. Johnny Hammond Smith, yeah. Uh, but you are the original J-O-N Hammond. Right, and with no age. <laughs> No age. And uh, there's actually another cat, too, that spells his name exactly like I do. is uh, a jazz radio broadcaster back in uh, Connecticut. And so we've been in touch. And uh, all the John Hammonds who have been keeping in touch, one is a real estate agent. <laughs> there's another cat who's a BMW dealer. Right. And I have deals with both these cats. When I hit the big time, the real estate dealer is going to cut me a deal on a house. And the other one's <laughs> going to give me a deal on a car. You know? yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. And when I started the John Hammond show, uh, TV show 21 years ago, Okay, let's go back a few years in the studio with Al Jasbo Collins. Big Al. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. And I like especially when you play like 20 fingers together, you know. I like some of that Milt Buckner cording, you know. That's always nice. Well, just keep playing back there on the behind me, you know. We'll just leave it cracked open. But go half as slow as you went before. Let me hear the tempo. Yeah, now you may be getting somewhere. Yeah. Once upon a time in the land of Ubladi, there lived a fine chick named Little Red Riding Hood. And one day Red's mother called her into the front room and she said, honey, I got some bad news for you and you're the first to know. What's up, said Red. Well, that's your grandma, said her mother. She's feeling kind of beat. Hangoversville, for all I know. Anyhow, I fixed up a real wild basket of ribs and a bottle of juice. And I'd like you to fall by her joint and lay the stuff on her. Crazy, said Red. And taking the basket, she took off through the woods. She had only gone a short distance. Went from out the timber. Jumped a big bad wolf. Grinning affably. And saying, hey baby. Give me some skin. Red said, sorry daddy. Oh some other time. Right now I got to make it over to my grandma's. She's feeling kind of beat. So I'd see you later. 
Say no more, mama, said the wolf. I'm hip, I'll dig you later. And so by means of a short, circuitous route through the tall grass, he made it over to grandma's post haste and rapped on the door. He rapped harder than that, man. Well, he rapped lower and harder than that. Yeah, that's better. Who got, who goes, <laughs> cried Grandma. It's Western Union, cried the wolf. I got tickets to the opening night. Count Basie's band and all. Say no more, said the mama, and she opened the door and the wolf jumped in, ate the old lady up, jumped into her night drapes, and pulled the lily whites up around his chin and waited. Pretty soon, Little Red Riding Hood came tripping down the path and knocked on the door. Who grows, cried the wolf. Oh, it's me, Graham, said Red. Mama heard you were feeling kind of low, and she's fixed up a, a little thing for you. Well, fall in, said the wolf. Whereupon Red Riding Hood looked at that furry head on her pillow, and she said, You know, you don't look like my grandma at all. And she says, that's a big nose you got there. He said, yeah, it is a gasser. And those ears, said Red. Yeah, I know, said the wolf. Let's just say somebody goofed. And those teeth. She couldn't say teeth. <laughs> those teeth. <laughs> yeah, he said, and those are my only bicuspids, you know. She said, no, man, I don't want to come on square and ask to see your card. But you don't look like my grandma at all. You look like some other cat. Baby said, the wolf, you're flipping. No, man, she said, no, I just dug your nose again and it's just too much. Whereupon the wolf says, what is this anyhow, face inspection? Whereupon he jumped out of bed and began chasing Little Red around the cabin. They went thither and yon and hither and yon. Hither and yon, and you're on KYOU Radio, 1550 AM, San Francisco, California, and on the net at www.kyouradio.com. This is John Hammond with the Hammond Cast Show. Let's go back to Jazz Bow. This time for a half a chorus, John, of some wild music, so get in there. Little did uh, the wolf realize that hunting season had opened that day. And a passing hunter heard Little Red's cry for help. So he bashed in the door and dispatched the wolf with one single shot. That was a good shot. 
Take your best shot, man. I usually have more fun with that, but that's all right. We're on our way to the end of the story. The end of the story is where Little Red looks up into the hunter's face and she says to him, you know, your timing was like the end. And so it was. I remembered half of the words tonight. I'm getting better on it, you know. But I left out some of the best lines. I don't know how I'm going to get them in there. I'll have to do it again sometime. It's getting close to 10 o'clock here in the purpleness of the grotto. And we're down to the sixth purple nub on the calibrated candle indicating the time. And time down here we refer to more or less casually and and roughly speaking, but it is in the vicinity of a couple of minutes before or after 10 o'clock. I would uh, make a slight wager on that. It's nice to have John Hammond here playing organ behind me. It's nice to have that. It makes you feel comfortable. Yeah. Hello, everybody. This is John Hammond. I got a new microphone talker. Can you hear me out there, everybody? Thank you very much for joining me for some more of my music and stories and some pictures of some good pie I had the wonderful house of pies yeah well I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody out there a very beautiful Veterans Day weekend 2023 as we remember our veterans and honor them that's right well I'm very happy I got my Hammond SK-1 organ repaired and renewed by my good friend Ray at Hammond Organ USA. Came back and I've been taking it down to the Musicians Union and playing some tunes down there. And yesterday I had a real nice session with a beautiful tenor saxophonist, woodwinds player, from Singapore, Booty. That's his name, Booty. He said, shake your booty, yeah. Booty Winarto, he plays real nice. And that's the organ right there. And I've been playing all my gigs through a really beautiful and lightweight and powerful Mark Bass amplifier. And recently, I got a pile of D cells, batteries, and I decided I would go back to the old type of flashlight to put the D cell batteries in there. And I got a real powerful one. This is my friend Scott, he's the owner of Fenton's Creamery. The beautiful ice cream. I had some after my gig nearby there. Oh man, it was good. And they also serve excellent breakfast. There's my friends Vanji and Dev Singh. And I go way back with them, you know. Well, I've been hitting some donut places. And you know, uh, there's a really great movie. It's called Donut King. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. It's amazing. I'm still on cable TV every Friday night. 40 years, everybody. Yikes. I'll be on TV tonight at 1.30 in the morning. New York Eastern Standard Time. 
on Manhattan Neighborhood Network and streaming all around the world. Yeah, I've been going to this uh, gathering of uh, car enthusiasts, of which I am one because, you know, I'm an old road doggy. And I got a nice old car that was my dad's car. And I joined these folks uh, on a regular Saturday thing that they do. Met some really nice car people. Yeah. Well, I got some good news. Real good news. We're going to be playing again at the NAM show with my entire band, the John Hammond Funk Unit. We're going to be the opening band. And we hit right before they open the the doors, so everybody's sort of captive out there by our bandstand. Because they they're waiting to go in the show. They can't go in until they open the doors. And we're gonna hit them with some funky tunes at 9:45 in the morning, January 25th. It's a Thursday. We'll be out there bright and early too before that sound checking and having fun with everybody who comes to Anaheim Convention Center for the big NAM show. You know, that stands for National Association of Music Merchants. And I've been going with my friend Joe Berger since 1987. Well, we've got some beautiful skies for this weekend. I want to leave you with this and tell you one last thing before I slide out of here, and that is... Bye now. I can get in here with your finger. Thank mm-hmm. you.
Hello everybody, it's John Hammond taking you on a little blues cruise in L.A. I want to wish everybody out there a happy and prosperous and healthy New Year 2024. How about that? We're living in the future. <laughs> the music you're listening to right now is a blues I wrote called No Excess Baggage of Blues. And that's Joe Berger. We call him the Burgermeister taking a solo on the guitar. And in the band here, we're playing in Nashville, Tennessee. Lewis Flip Winfield on the drums, Chuggy Carter, congas and percussions, Roland Barber, trombone, Cord Martin on tenor saxophone, and yours truly, John Hammond, on the organ and the organ bass. Yeah, there's Cord Martin there. Sounding beautiful. I miss all my friends in Nashville. The Pando threw everything in disarray. I cut back my traveling quite a bit. But we're starting to get back out there on the dusty trail. Getting some gigs. I'm very excited. We got the big. Winter NAM Show 2024. We're going to be the kickoff opener band January 25th. Yeah, Cord, out of sight. Roland Barber, trombone, everybody. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's everybody doing out there? I want to congratulate everybody who tuned in today because you made it to 2024. If you're hearing my voice and my music, I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> it's been challenging for everybody. Yeah, out of sight, Roland. I'm going to take one on the organ, and I'm very excited and happy that my organ just got returned from my main man, Ray Gerlich. Ray Gerlich, <laughs> I should know how to say his name by now, he's the, the master technician at Hammond Suzuki USA, he put his special touch on my organ, I put so many miles on it, he had to do a little refurb. And it's good for the NAMM show and all my gigs. I went all over the world with that organ. Yeah. It's good to travel. Fits in a case about the size of a guitar case. And I just check it in the baggage and off I go. Well, we're cruising down the road here. Yeah. If you're going to the NAM show, come on 
by the Arena Plaza stage. We're going to be hitting early before they open and when they open. 55 minutes set. January 25th, that's a Thursday. I got an incredible lineup of cats on the band. I'm going to take you home with this one. I wish everybody have a beautiful one. I just want to say one last thing before I slide out of here, and that is. Bye-bye now.